Oh, look how confused the hedgehog is. He's, he's definitely he's definitely doing the thinky emoji there. He's like, hmm. Is he gonna hit the dad? <laughs> nah. Aw. Nah. Welcome back. You really didn't want to see that Sonic dad. I meant flame core. This place is it's, it's all right. It's some bullshit though, cause look. Wait, right up here. This is where I fell off and died before. Oh, Just, you, you already died. Uh, oh yeah. Oh. Just around. This I was looking corner. at voice actresses. Oh well. Oh. I still think the Lonnie Manali or whatever should have stayed. All right. Although I do have to say, I like the, the Sonic voice that started with, I believe, colors. All right, I fell off right there. Luckily, I didn't that time. Yeah, I, honestly, I like all of Sonic's voices except for like uh, the old cartoon ones. Not like the old cartoon ones. Do you think Jaleel White didn't fucking phone it in? Do you know what I mean though? He just he doesn't sound like how I think Sonic should sound. Uh, would you say that? But the two game voices that the two main game voices, the one like pre colors and post colors, they sound radically different. Radical. <laughs> Hit you, but it's Sonic. It's got to be radical. Like they sound radically different, but they are—they're both like good. Yeah, I—I I, I just guess I don't like that style of voice that they used for the, the Sonic cartoons. I don't know. And it's not much. Whoa! Different. It's not much different than the voice that he had in uh, the adventure games. And we might be thinking of a different one. I'm thinking of like the really old Sonic cartoon from. Uh, Sonic Sat AM. All right, let's let's, yeah. let's get the, the Sonic Sat AM or Sat M or whatever it is. It was just, I think it was just called Sonic the Hedgehog, but they called it Sat AM because it was Saturday morning. Well, yeah. Could you break, Mr. Crate? All right. Thank you. All right. All right here we go. Yes. There's an entire three-minute video on comparing the voices of Sonic the Hedgehog. But of course. All right. All right. All right. Oh, that favorite Eggman. Previous one of Mike Pollock. Oh, previous one. Really? Yeah. I love Mike Pollock. He's great. Oh, I need that. Mike Pollock sounds like a pillow. Mike Pollock. Oh god. Sounds like bollock. <laughs> but he's also great. He's a great dude. Oh. That one. That was the one right there. Oh, you mean the one in the video titled Sonic the Hedgehog Sad M? Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog voice? Yeah. Way past two. <laughs> <laughs> sure that's Julio White, actually. Yeah. I've just screwed myself, by the way, because this enemy didn't die when I hit him, uh -huh. and then I used up all the rings to get across here. Alright, Sonic. And now that door's gonna Sat open. Sat M. Please. <gasps> also, oh, no, I'm fine. is it Sat AM or Sat M? Because everything does, everything that I'm looking at doesn't separate the two words. It says S A T A M. S A T A M, but the A M's capitalized. No, nobody's capitalizing it. Oh, well, then it's Satum. <laughs> It's supposed to be capitalized. Okay. I'm well, dead. Nice. Or am I? Now land on that. No, get I'm on the rock. Get on the rock. Get on Dwayne Johnson. Uh, yeah, that was Dwayne, 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 Dwayne. Oh, okay. Right. I guess not. Yeah, put that next shit on me. Um. Alright, alright. Can I have a ring? That'd be great. Look at this so, spring. I'll take that too. Sonic. Oh, voice. excuse me. <laughs> you did. Okay, you weren't looking. Just that Sonic went like 90 degrees to the, to the side when he was running. Um, I, I just haven't been looking at this at all. You just let me enjoy myself. Yeah. Okay. But, like I, I, I've stopped trying to, trying to get you to stop showing off, and I'm just gonna let it happen. Whoa, go to the volcano! All right, all right. So we got. Oh, I thought you just paused the game or something. No. We got. <laughs> I didn't mean to click on Julia White like completely. What did Julia White voice him? All right, voice actors of Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Roger Craig Smith is the current one. Yeah. Which is fine. He fits He's really good. well with Boom Sonic. He fits really well with, uh, the... Well, I think he fits well just as Sonic, but, like, Boom Sonic really ca he really captures that really well. Yeah. Uh, Jason Griffith was in Sonic X. Yeah. That's a good voice. Uh, in Sonic Underground, Sam Vincent and Julia White. Both of them? Both of them. You want a singing voice? I don't know. Uh, Ow. Jaleel White for Sonic Christmas Blast. What the fuck is Sonic Christmas Blast? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1993, which I'm gonna assume is, was Sonic sat in. Uh, uh yeah. Was uh, Jaleel White. Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. 
Jolly old white. Okay, I love Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't like the voice though. <laughs> Sonic says. I just. I think Jolly white did fine. Hey, look, I'm invincible. I think Jolly white did fine. Games. Let's look at games now. Are you done? No. Well, the invincibility's gone, so yeah. <laughs> alright, alright. Sense. Yeah, sense, uh. When was this first one? Uh. What are you trying to find out? When Roger Craig Smith's first one was. Sonic Colors was Roger Craig Smith's first. Right. And it was Jason Griffith. All back for the games. Oh, wait. Waiting. Jason Griffith started with Sonic Rush in yeah. 2005. Excuse me. So he's the voice of him in this. Okay. So he, he's fine too. Yeah, this guy's alright. And then Ryan Drummond was the, the original one that I'm thinking of from right, uh, yeah. from the adventure era er, hey, around look. there. Hey, look. I'm Nux. Oh my You know God. what this room is? No. You can actually break out of this room as Knuckles, because you're supposed to switch back to Sonic as you get out of here. Uh huh. But you can break, you can glitch through the wall and break out of it as Knuckles and continue the level as Knuckles. Are you gonna do it? Uh, I would I'm like you to do it. I'm gonna attempt to. I would like you to do it. What uh, the fuck? You can't even get up there! Yeah. <laughs> About that. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Punch you. What are you even trying to do right now? You gotta turn on all of these lights. Okay. And this one. It's hover. Like, when you're gliding, you, you get sent so far. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's how gliding works in real life. So. Yeah, but like, in... Oh, here we go. What the fuck? Yeah, that's his... Can't get off the wall. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm stuck. What? I'm stuck on the wall. Oh, there we go. How'd you get out? No, oh, oh I punched this. I'm gonna die because I'm out of rings. No, you're not. Give me those okay. rings! So where do you get out? Uh, I think if I do it up by the door, or up here... Oh, damn it. Damn it! Mind. I didn't realize it would switch me back right away. Oh. <laughs> Can you go back? No. The door opened and then closed. Fuck. But basically the wall over there, that thing when I was jumping, it was just going... Mm -hmm. You can do that and you glitch through the wall and you hover over here and don't change into Sonic. Okay. And that... It's fun trivia time! If you finish the level as Knuckles, he actually has uh, his own victory pose and... I'm sure he's taking a hit there. Uh, Victory quotes and stuff, so that's pretty cool. I mean, can you finish other levels as Knuckles? Nope. Oh. So, that, so, like, by doing that, you're seeing, like, things that are supposed to be, like, unseen in the game? Yeah. Oh. But he also, he doesn't have, uh, when you go through a rainbow ring, you know, you do, like, a little tricky thing. Yeah. Looks cool. Calm down. Jesus! <laughs> if you do that with Knuckles, he doesn't have a rainbow ring animation, because you're never supposed to take him through the rainbow ring, so he just enters a T-pose. <laughs> <laughs> what is with you with liking the tea poses? It's funny. <laughs> well, not what it represents. Tea in current the meme tea poses culture. have been ruined. I know. But it, no, it's funny if you go through a rainbow ring, you expect him to go, woohoo! But instead, he just goes, in tea poses. <laughs> Did also, I get that S? That's a tea poses also scare me because one time I played Wind Waker and I died on the same frame that I won and then I saved it. And when you beat the game after that happens, uh, you get transported into this really freaky world where, uh, the water, like, you're, it's still the Ganon battlefield at the end of Wind Waker, right. but he's, like, opening his mouth, like, <laughs> just, like going up and down and it freaking T-poses, and oh my God. his swords are growing and shrinking. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. <laughs> it's, it was actually really funny, but I, I literally can't beat the game on that file anymore. Don't touch, Don't touch it! it! No, that's my favorite shadow line in this game. Stop. Yeah. Don't touch my chest hair. <laughs> also, this guy's here now. Why does this feel like very end gamey? Oh, it's not. We're like maybe 40, 50% of the way through the game. Maybe a little more. To the game or through Sonic? Through Sonic story. Okay. You need to be sneaky boy. He's, like, he's just a little just, guy. I don't know why, just fire feels very end gamey to me. Well, you can thank Mario for that. Uh, I mean, Dark Souls does it too. A lot of games so do it. this is Iblis. I can read. Time to trigger. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are the Iblis trigger. Gotta trigger that Iblis, boy. That just sounds dirty. Yeah. You would also kind of think that, uh, you know, given this is Iblis and the whole game is like, hey, you're the Iblis trigger, you would think this is like final boss, but it, it's not. 
really not. Also, this guy takes goddamn forever to beat, so I'm... It's a little I'm, too far to I'm gonna be utilizing a little, a little, little exploit. Because it's just a whole lot of waiting. You know, just go like that this. looks like you were standing on nothing. Yeah, you ready for this? You just gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like that, take the hit. I'm gonna go like that, and homing attack. And that's that. You know, I think he comes for this? Yeah, comes for that, you jump away, go like that, and you're done. I feel like that's not an exploit. What? Well, it, it's not an exploit, but you if I didn't take the hit from the lava, I would have had to wait for another set of platforms to appear. And now I'm going back. Yep. They look like the platforms are more on platforms. Yeah, it, it just destroyed all the old platforms, I guess. See, those ones didn't stay. <laughs> yeah, so you just want to do that, take the hit. Makes it a whole lot quicker, because this, this boss fight is just waiting. I feel like if I overlaid your commentary for this and your let's play on top of each <laughs> other, it would be the same, be the same <laughs> fucking thing. Probably. Anyway, we can buy the booster pack and finish fighting Iblis. Just finish them off now. Because if I finish it, there'll be a loading screen, and then and that that's will the be last the thing we want. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bye. I just That's like better. anytime you do that on recording, I, I just think of the time of fucking <laughs> Bloodborne when you when your zipper got picked up, <laughs> your jingling out of your pants got picked up. <laughs>